welcome to, I don't even know the name of the show anymore, show. Hi, I'm your host once again, Todd Brockenhoff, and this is your daily news report. For this video, we please ask that any parents or guardians in the room, the children are very squeamish and don't like seeing things get pummeled, then please shield their eyes for this next video is a real doozy. Take a look. Welcome back to our coverage of the game of the year between Yale and North Carolina. If you're just joining us, we have witnessed an unbelievably well-fought match tonight, and it's come down to penalty kicks. Peterson for Yale, taking the first approach. Oh, oh that is. is spectacular! North Carolina's goalkeeper Richards just let one in past him now, so now the burden rests on Yale's Scott Sterling. Here he comes, nerves of steel, that man, dealing with more pressure now than a submarine. <laughs> Indeed. Home oh, crowd showing some appreciation. Johnson places the ball on the spot, getting ready. That man literally has a cannon for a leg. Yes, he does. Here he goes, winding up for the shot, and... Oh! The cannon has fired and hit Sterling directly to the face. We clocked that at a stunning 116 kilometers per hour. Now that's a lot of miles per hour. Little chance that man's nose is not broken, right? He yells up again for the second attempt, looking to make it 2-0. He approaches the ball with some determination. Here he goes. Oh! oh, it's high and wide, way off target. Yes, back now to Scott Sterling. He looks a bit worse for wear, but ready for round two. And Shaw takes a moment. Here he goes with the approach. Oh! oh! Sterling with a fantastic dive. The ball flies straight through his hands and once again strikes him straight in the schnoz. And let's see it again on the old instant replay. Oh, every <laughs> excruciating detail captured in HD perfection. Clocked at 129. Kilometers per hour. Yeah, right. Sterling does not look well. Two wonderful saves and two definite concussions. They may replace him at this point. He's done all he can. Yes, as his trainer takes him off the field like a mustached lion dragging a gazelle through the Serengeti. Adieu, Scott Sterling. Adieu. Richens is in the goal, bouncing like an infant girl. The crowd holds their breath as he goes in. Here it comes! Oh! oh very anticlimactic. Scott, Scott Sterling, Sterling is back! He's still in the game! Oh my! And he's taking a very odd tactic now. Seems to be curling up to protect his face. Not exactly a recommended technique, but here it goes. Wait, no, no. Lambert needs to tie his shoe. Ho oh, ho. And that's why you do a double knot, kids. Sterling, still waiting for the kick to happen. He's probably wondering when. Oh! Sweet butter crumpet! My God! The ball drills Sterling! Right in the face! That man's nose must be absolutely devastated! He's gonna look like a witch that flew her broom into her nose and then crashed into a hammer! I hardly even care about this attempt! Let's go back to Scott, Scott Sterling! Sterling! The man! The myth! The, the legend. legend! Three perfect blocks by Sterling and his cat-like face reflexes! Absolutely incredible! Though I must say, Sterling does not look well at all. Well, um, you know football players like to add a bit of drama, don't they? They're gonna take him out? No, wait! They brought him a chair! Oh, a bold move by the manager! Hey. Bain sets up for the fourth attempt! And this, frankly, is a gimmick! He literally just has to kick it anywhere except where Sterling is sitting. There is no possible way that North Carolina can mess up this shot. Oh! oh! 158 kilometers per hour! This man can do no wrong! Look at him beg for mercy when it's mercy that should be begging for him! He has looked death in the eye and said, take your best shot! To which death replies by punching him in the face over and over and over again. If Yale makes this final shot, it's all over. But no! Oh, he misses, which means we're going to Scott, Scott Sterling! His face is like a brick wall. A brick wall that can feel pain and cries a lot. But where's Sterling? Oh, he seems to be crawling away from the goal. What is he doing? He's throwing away the bat! Oh! oh! Sterling has done the oh! impossible! Incredible instincts to crawl away from the goal like that. And his teammates rush the field, happy as a lark as they slide in. <laughs> <laughs> a Bonini sculpture uh, of a finish. As his teammates carry him off on the stretcher of glory. <laughs> Man. If I was that guy, I don't know what I'd do. I'll tell you one thing. I'd, I'd quit playing soccer, that's for sure. Now, on to more serious news. Wait, hold on for a moment. 
my producer is telling me in my ear of some incredible breaking news. Wait. Say that one more time. Something about a man and a lion? Yes, yes, I can confirm. Daniel, a man truly committed to following God, was seen praying out his window today. Why is that news? Because the king just set a new law in place that no one could pray to anyone by half. Daniel was arrested and not thrown in jail, no, no, but led away to be placed in the lion's den? Yes, that is what is being reported. He was thrown in a lion's den. Man, I can't even think about how scary that was for him. Alone with a lion. Wow. What I'm being told is that something crazy happened in that lion's den. The guards came to see what the lions did to this poor man, Daniel, just trying to worship his God. As the guards arrived, they found Daniel was still alive. A miracle. Somehow, the lion's mouth had been shut and Daniel was unharmed. If that's not a story, I don't know what is. God versus the king, Daniel versus the lion, a miracle and a story we are going to keep a close eye on moving forward. What a story. And here at the, I still don't know what the name of this show is show, we are going to bring the latest news faster and better than anyone else. This is your host, once again, Todd Brockenhoff. And you stay classy and sassy, Orlando. And now, enjoy tonight's show.